Hello, this is Yoon Pil Kim, Korean medicine doctor in HJ Magnolia International Hospital. I would like to explain the subject of treatment of atopic dermatitis or AD in Korean medicine through this video. First, I will outline AD and then explain its pathology, treatment, and life management in Korean medicine. AD is an allergic reaction in which the body becomes extremely sensitive without contact with the allergen. The word atopy is derived from the ancient Greek word atopia and means strange abnormal. People with AD often have dry and scaly skin that spans the entire body and intensely each red splotch raised lesions to form in the bands of the arms or legs, face and neck. Rechanification, excoriation and erosion or crusting on the trunk may indicate secondary infection. The treatments include avoiding things that make the condition worse and applying moisturizing creams. Steroid creams can be applied when flares occur and medications that help with itchiness but it's not recommended to apply them regularly. And how many people are suffering from AD currently? It now affects 15 to 30 percent of children and 2 to 10 percent of others in developed countries and in the United States has nearly tripled in the past 30 to 40 years. Over 15 million American adults and children have AD. Then, what is the cause of AD in Korean medicine? Like any other diseases, AD is caused by the disharmony of yin and yang. When yang qi is excessive, noxious fire occurs and this causes inflammations in the skin. The cause of Yankee's excessiveness is various, including bodily damp heat, phlegm, stagnancy of undigested food, stagnated blood, deficiency of yin qi or body fluid, etc. These pathogenic process can happen in any organs of the body. Noxious fire from organs rises to the skin and causes AD. It means that the skin reflects the conditions of internal organs. So to treat the organs can be a main thing and the skin secondary. Pathogens should be eliminated in the organs and noxious fire can be dispersed from the skin. In Korean medicine, the process of finding out where and what the pathogen is, called byeonjung shichi, the treatment after differentiation of syndrome. It means that the treatments or prescriptions differ depending on symptom characteristics. There are many ways of differentiation of syndromes, one of which is differentiation of excessiveness and deficiency. Here, deficiency means the lack of genuine energy in specific organs, whereas excessiveness means the existence of pathogenic factors. Different types of differentiation of syndromes fall under these two categories. First, there are six excessiveness types here. First, excessiveness in the skin or lungs. Here, noxious fire exists in the skin or lungs and can cause inflammation. The symptoms are fever, headache, chills, cough, thirsty, red edge of tongue, white and thin tongue coating, 
rapid and shallow pulse, etc. For treatment, pathogenic factors are dispelled from the skin or lungs by drugs with pungent and cool property. Second, noxious fire in blood can cause destabilization of blood and AD. Symptoms are high temperature at night, nose blood, blood stool, hematuria, dark purple patch, dry and purple tongue, rapid pulse, etc. And treatment is to remove heat from the blood and dissipate blood stasis. For this type, sogak jiwang tang can be prescribed. Third, damp heat in the liver and gallbladder can be a pathogen. Symptoms are headache, bitter taste in the mouth, eye congestion, deafness, cloudy urine with continuous dripping, itching in external genitals. By using Yongdam Sagantang, heat and dampness from the liver and gallbladder can be cleared. Heat in the heart is another pathogen causing AD. Symptoms are fever with dysphoria in the chest and heart, erosion in the mouth and tongue, feeling pain and difficulty while urination, wet tongue with rapid pulse, etc. Treatment is to clear heat from the heart and replenish in key. Prescription is dojo gangitang in this case. Fifth, heat flame in lungs. Symptoms include cough, yellow, sticky flame. To clear excessive heat from the lungs, chonggum gangwatang is prescribed for these symptoms. Sixth, stagnation of food can cause the stagnation of qi, which can lead to occurrence of noxious fire in the spleen and stomach. Symptoms are abdominal distension, headache, oppressed feeling in the chest, limb helplessness. Promoting digestion and removing food stagnancy, symptoms are relieved. In this case, Pyongyi San is prescribed. And there are deficiency types, which means lack of genuine energy causes symptoms. First, flaming up of fire due to deficiency of kidney in. In this type, symptoms are insomnia, reddish cheeks and lips, tidal fever and night sweat, dry cough, a reddened tongue with little saliva, thin and rapid pulse, etc. Treatment is to replenish in to reduce pathogenic fire, and chaum gangho tongue is prescribed. Second, due to the weakness of yin qi in liver and kidney, the yang qi of the liver cannot be controlled and dermatitis occurs. Symptoms are feeling of bloating in the head, headache, dizziness and tinnitus, dry and stiff eyes, a wiry, thin, long and strong pulse, etc. Coming the liver to check exuberant yang, symptoms are relieved. Prescriptions such as Chanma Gudung Um and Jingan Shikbukung Tang are used. Third, lack of energy in the spleen and stomach can cause heat of deficiency type, which might lead to the inflammation in the skin. Symptoms are fever with spontaneous perspiration, prefer to drink hot water, powerlessness and murmuring, limb helplessness, pale complexion, pale tongue with white coating, weak pulse. Treatment is to replenish qi in the spleen and stomach, and bojung ikitang can be prescribed. Fourth, deficiency of blood in the liver. In this condition, 
the supply of blood and body fluids becomes insufficient, so symptoms occur. Symptoms are dizziness and tinnitus, lack of shine in lips and nails, lack of menstruation or no menstruation, pale tongue, a, a thin and wiry, or a thin and uneven purse. Tangi umja can be prescribed to replenish blood in the river. Last, deficiency of in ki in the heart can cause noxious fire. Here, symptoms are having more severe fear at night, thirst or no thirst, insomnia, and fever with discomfort in the chest, sulfur colored patch on the skin, violet and dry tongue, thin and rapid pulse. To replenish in ki in the heart, Chong Yong Tang is prescribed. The 80 types presented here is not comprehensive, and there may be other causes of it. For treatment of these various types of AD, herbal medicine acupuncture and herbal acupuncture are used. Among them, herbal medicine can be a first choice. Specific herbs work on specific organs, meridians, and pathogens. After determining which organs and meridians have which kinds of pathogens according to differentiation of symptoms, prescribe herbal medicine. And there are many ready-made prescriptions composed of herbs. The prescriptions that work on specific organs are shown here again in pictures. For example, Chaum Gangwa Tang works on the kidneys and check flaming up of fire due to deficiency of kidney in. Acupuncture and herbal acupuncture are another treatment methods. Acupuncture helps to remove the pathogens by controlling the key of the meridian. For treatment, the practitioner inserts needles into acupoints on the skin. According to differentiation of symptoms, acupuncture points that control the organs and meridians are selected. Herbal acupuncture is a treatment in which extracted and purified herbal medicinal materials are injected into the acupuncture reaction points on the body surface. This acupuncture therapy induces the healing effects of both acupuncture and herbal medicine. Here, acupoints regulating meridians concerning differentiation of syndromes are presented. For example, in case of flaming up of fire due to deficiency of kidney in, acupoints KI10, KI7, KA3, KA2, and KA1 are chosen. For herbal acupuncture, Jeon Jung CV17 and Ki He CV6 can be selected. They are acupoints that regulate Ki of the heart and the kidneys each. Extract from Coptis rhizoma is injected in CV17, and extract from wild ginseng is injected in CV6. It can help the circulation of yin qi and yang qi and relieve symptoms. Next, I will present one case of AD treatment. A female patient, age 45, visits on February 27, 2017. She had a lot of stress from work. Symptoms are heat in the ear, redness, swelling, and itching on the face and hands, unable to sleep with anger, helplessness, depression, a strong wiry pulse. I diagnosed as exuberance of yang of the liver syndrome and prescribed 
진간 식풍탕 and acupuncture on points on different meridians. After treatment of 5 to 6 months, skin symptoms improved as sleep conditions improved. Physical strength improved, depression relieved. Lastly, I will tell you about the lifestyle habits for AD treatment. Do moderate exercise during the day. Avoid excessive activity at night and take a break. Avoid distracting programs on TV or on the internet. Sleep early. It is not recommended to sleep after 12 p.m. Do not overeat. Vegetarian foods such as greens and vegetables are recommended and you can consume moderate amounts of meat that are not cooked fatty. Foods with a lot of synthetic compounds or fast foods are not good. Alcohol or coffee is also not recommended. Eat dinner early. Do not offer it. It is especially good to avoid fatty foods such as meat for dinner. Thank you for watching.